Dear students, Namaste. One of the commonly asked questions in ENT practicals for undergraduates as well as postgraduates is why is salivary common in submandibular gland as compared to the parotid gland or duct? As we know, the parotid gland is the serous secreting gland, whereas submandibular gland is the seromucinous secreting gland and the minor salivary glands they are usually mucinous glands so as you go from larger to the smaller salivary glands the amount of mucin increases it is very interesting to know that around 85 percent of all stones occur in the submenubular gland the reason being the anatomical and physiological the submenubular gland has a lung and tortuous duct so there will be more stasis of the secretions that to mucinous secretions start collecting there in the duct, leading to accumulation of the concretions that might accumulate to form the stones. The anti-gravity drainage of the submanibular salivary gland to its duct leads to stasis of secretions again, and duct opening is smaller than the lumen. That also leads to stasis of the secretions leading to formation of the stones. The submanibular gland secretes serumucinous material that is more viscous in comparison to the parotid secretions, which might lead to stasis and formation of stones. High calcium and magnesium content in the submanibular saliva also leads to chance of formation of stones, and many of the stones in the submanibular gland and the duct are radiopaque due to its calcium and magnesium content. Thank you. Thank you very much.